Hi, this is Anne Campbell and I haven't made a few videos for a while because I've been quite distracted in other areas but I'm back and I want to tell you about this um, a few months ago, about August, I met a lady named Leslie Sharon Wills, this is her and she was telling me how she had reclaimed uh, her PPI and she did try to do it herself but in the end she ended up using a company for one particular um, claim because they kept insisting on um, not paying her and eventually she got them to repay including um, the cumulative amount of interest that, that she should have been that she was owed on the amount that they um, hadn't paid her um, so if you're interested in doing it yourself uh, you can go to Money Saving Expert of course and use um, either the letters that they provide or what they do now is that they use a company called Resolver this one and um, there's a link to their Resolver on their site I don't think they do any charges and they do um, use um, the, the standard letters that um, that this that this site Martin um, Martin Lewis's site used. And there's a video here also. This might be of interest to you, even if you have claimed PPI. Um, there was a court case, um, and they're calling it the Previn factor, um, where you can also claim back the money that the um, insurance companies paid to the banks or the credit cards when they sold them their commission that they paid them when you paid your premiums so even if you've claimed the PPI you can go back and claim under the Plevin's rule um, the, the money or part of the money that you paid towards their commission because usually when you've paid one of these insurances like two thirds of it will go as a commission to whoever it was that sold you sold it to you. So uh, go watch that video and then um, you know click through on moneysavingexpert.com. I don't know if they're allowing me to show you these but I'll try and scroll down anyway. And um, then here it is. You'll just click that and it will take you through to resolve the site. You log in and and then start sending out these emails to the companies so you'll put in the name of the company that you want to claim against we've already put one in um, for MBNA and then say perhaps if you had Barclay card then you can choose again and say um, put against the credit card and the PPI commission and uh, so I made a list of a few that I'm going to be claiming against because in there they also tell you that you can claim against um, like buildings insurance or property insurance that you were sold um, ASU um, is what they were calling the mortgage insurance um, for unemployment and etc et um, redundancy and things accidents sickness and unemployment it's called um, and I had a company that sold me that and when I did come to claim it they were denying that they would pay out because I was self-employed at the time so effectively they should have checked that before they re, um, recommissioned the insurance each year uh, so I've got quite a few even including LV um, but they do I did a savings account with them so I don't know whether that still applies also things like catalogues and store cards if you had any of those you can claim your PPI off those or your Plevin Commission I think as well so look into it and I'll update you if I get any money back in the meantime you can do free PPI checkers via the resolver site as well they'll just do a quick uh, they'll shoot off a quick email to check whether you've been sold PPI and um, but there's also another site that I've seen here that only claim 10% commission and they give you a claim form but it's quite colourful so I haven't printed it off to fill it out yeah, moneybackppi.com and they say they um, 
but they only take 10% commission. Um, now, oh, it's plus VAT. There you go. Um, and you have to, it's a seven page P PPR claim form, which is, you know, if you've got a lot of printer ink that's colourful, you might, you might use quite a bit of it up. And you fill out these details and they, they then make the claim for it. That's the cheapest one that I can see at the moment. I don't know whether it's genuine, but it's worth giving it a try. If you fail with the resolver method, or if you don't get all your money back. So thanks to Leslie Wills for that. He's a great artist, by the way. And uh, good luck remembering that the deadline here has been finally set as the 29th of August. 2019. So good luck with that. Let me know how you get on.